but I couldn't live with myself if I knew that a person that I thought was innocent was on death row. Former Burleson County District Attorney Charles Sebesta says he still believes Anthony Graves was there the night six people were brutally murdered in Burleson County. A jury believed it too and sentenced Graves to death row back in 1994. Graves would spend the next 18 years of his life behind bars. In 2006, his case was overturned. In 2010, Graves would go free. At the heart of it all, evidence of a confession from a man executed for the crime who said he acted alone. Graves' attorney argued that confession was never told to the defense. Now he wants the former DA to pay. I, I didn't pick this fight, okay? Charles Best picked this fight 20 years ago when he wrongfully convicted me. He has his opinion. I've got my opinion. Graves filed a grievance with the State Bar of Texas, but Sebesta says this is the same complaint Graves filed once before and was dismissed. They said just cause does not exist. Sebesta says it had nothing to do with the statute, and this new grievance is nothing more than a ploy to gain media attention. They are the ones that appeal. They're the ones that won the appeal. And, and now they're coming back and, and trying to get the public to believe, oh, it was dismissed because of the statute of limitations. That simply isn't true. The board never cleared that that was a wrongdoing. It never made any determination as to whether or not he had violated the rules of professional conduct. Charles Sebastian has gotten away with too much and needs to be held accountable. Well, today I am saying Charles Sebastian is going to be held accountable for maliciously and willfully, wrongfully convicting him. Now, Sebesta says if he had the whole thing to do over again, he may do things a little differently, but he says he never withheld any evidence. Reporting in the News Center, David Norris, News 3.